This video is about um, resetting the relative display on a fan and control. I had a call the other day, well a text from somebody the other day who was struggling to do this um, and uh, I sent him a text back and then I thought well I need to do a video so that I can refer people back to the video. It's quite simple to do. Um, the position display on a fan and control you've got the relative, you've got the uh, machine you've got the absolute and you've got your distance to go so um, when we click the position button each time we press that it will come up with a different one of these displays it will switch around or we can use these soft keys underneath to just switch between them so the one I'm interested in is this uh, relative and relative means that it's ours so it's uh, just relative to wherever we are so in other words you can zero it up wherever you like and a machine's not interested the machine doesn't use this display it's only you that's going to use this so not only can we uh, reset it or origin it as it's called we can also put presets in there so if we put x and we type in for example uh, 85 6 point and then I just hit um, hit preset that's put that figure in there so then if I put y uh, minus one two three point six and then just uh, preset that and then I can say a z minus twelve point three and preset that so that's preset those figures in there. So I can write in there whatever I want. I can even preset zero. So that would be another way of zero in it. But the easiest way to zero the display is to press X or Y or Z and then click your origin button. And you now get the choice to do all the axes or you can just press execute and that's just on that one axis. So if I now say Z, press origin, I can then say all axes, which will zero everything. So you might say what would you want this for well it's very useful if you just got to face mill the top of a part zero up your z face mill the top and then if you think oh i could do with a little bit more off that you know where you are you're at zero so just wind it down 0.2 and take another cut or you might want to actually find the edge of the part zero it up and then start drilling some holes so using it almost like a manual machine with a digital readout on Okay, so uh, thanks for watching this video.